And how has this harvest been coming along? Because in the last couple of weeks, I feel like it's rained <laughs> every other day. Well, we are happy. Maybe that's just my British kind of uh, weather thing. <laughs> <laughs> we have the last la, uh, El Niño year. Right? Yeah. So this is going to be a little bit cool year too, I think. We have, um, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be for how it's behaving now, similar to 2017, which was a great year. A lot of fruit, nice acidity, not high alcohols, not a lot of ripeness. So I like that style, which help us doing this, what, what we want to do. Uh, we are now on the preparation, so we're now monitoring the harvest time. So we need a little bit more to understand when are we going to harvest and all that. But the grapes are very healthy. They have a beautiful canopy. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot. But well, you know, Europe has also a big problem of quantity last year, so I Europe think we had we had a little bit better, but we had a, like a little shortage in our vintage. Was it because of a frost? Yeah. Uh -huh. And when was the frost here? In October. Okay. Which it's been a tough year. I, th I feel like everyone, you know, we all like to say climate change, but this year, last year, two thousand seventeen, was just. I mean, I in terms the, of the fires, universe, fires yeah. in terms of frosts, I just feel like it was a big... Well, probably year. the universe is punishing the human beings for something. Yeah, for I think Brexit, for Trump, for, <laughs> <laughs> for all the rest. I think we are now getting what we deserve. Yeah. <laughs> Bring on 2018. <laughs> Hopefully 2018 is going to be a good one. <laughs> all right, away from politics and on to the last one. So